Hello, and thank you for inviting me here to speak to you today. I can't tell you what this means to me, and I'm incredibly proud to be here. I'm Serena Jemmet. I'm a student studying for my A-levels. I'm an activist, a member of Amnesty International Children's Human Rights Network, and a climate striker. At 17 years old, I'm also technically, at least, a child. That is part of the reason I'm very glad the Convention of the Rights of the Child exists. It's an extraordinary thing and a thing to truly be proud of. The most ratified human rights treaty ever. So many nations came together and they did so to recognise, rationalise and ration ratify the rights of children. All children. From any nation, of any ability, of any religion or none. For this, I want to say thank you. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for remembering children. Thank you for realising the Universal Declaration of Human Rights wouldn't be enough. Article 21 of the UDHR says that everyone has the right to take part in the government of his country directly or through freely chosen representatives. Everyone. It also says the will of the people shall be on the basis of the authority of government. This will shall be expressed in periodic and genuine elections, which shall be by universal and equal suffrage. Universal and equal suffrage. So I ask you this. Where is my vote? Is the Universal Declaration of Human Rights not universal, or are children not human? We're not human, not in the eyes of governments, not in the eyes of adults, not yet. But we're on our way there. So thank you for the Convention of the Rights of the Child. Thank you for knowing our rights matter too. Thank you for realising how easy it is for adults to dismiss, ignore, undermine and undervalue children. You find it so easy to step on us. We're smaller than you, we're less self-deficient, we're overwhelmingly under your control. It may not come as a surprise to you to learn that it's not always a comfortable place to be. The Convention of the Rights of the Child is a bright spot in how older generations are choosing to run the world. It's a vanishingly rare example of how older generations are considering not only the best interests of the child, but actually considering the child at all. Mostly, your world is a frightening and chaotic place. There's war, there's poverty, leading to a refugee crisis and a rising rich and poor gap that threatens to leave whole generations behind. The best interest of the child was not considered when world leaders made these choices. The polar ice is melting, the world is warming, and climate and carbon in our atmosphere keeps on rising. It's not because you can't fix it, because you can. You're choosing to prioritise other things. The best interest of the child is not being considered when leaders make these choices. The Convention on the Rights of the Child sets out incredible ideals, but those ideals need to be realised. The best interest of the child needs to be sought even when it conflicts with the best interest of adults. And if it isn't, and how can it be when specific, unique position of children are forgotten outside of the CRC? The language in which ch adults talk about children is a language of dismissal. You'll understand when you're older. You should be in school so you can develop into professionals of the future so you can solve all these problems. When you've been doing this for as long as I have. Even when it's positive, it's with dismiss. Don't you just love the innocent way children view the world? I do not think our panic at the world warming is innocent. I do not think our distaste at governments around the world prioritising profits over people is naive. So I want my, my voice heard now. I want to demand that the rights guaranteed to me by the CRC are made real, and I want to be able to complain when they're ignored, dismissed, or blatantly violated. For the last year, Amnesty UK Children's Human Rights Network have been running a campaign to ask the UK government to ratify the third optional protocol of the Convention of the Rights of the Child. We delivered thousands of signatures to the government last week. We organised children to take over the Amnesty UK's offices for an afternoon. We have spoken to parents and to children, to trade unions and to politicians, and we've held a stunt on Parliament Square and distributed leaflets to passers-by. We chose this year because it's the 30th anniversary on the Convention of the Rights of the Child. It's in this year that it's important for children to join other rights holders in demanding that our voices lead the way in the conversations about our rights. It's time for the best interests of the child to be defined by children, especially as those currently defining it are failing. It's time for the UK and for other governments around the world to make our rights real. 
it's time for all states to ratify optional protocol three and finally deliver on the promise of the Convention of the Rights of the Child. Thank you.